The 2025 BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. This is the four door and the vehicle is redesigned. So I'm gonna be talking about all of the latest changes here, but stay tuned until the end of this video where I'm gonna share with you how you can save a substantial amount of money on new BMW products. More on that towards the end, but let's get started here. So just some quick highlights, this second generation Grand Coupe 2 Series is going to offer more standard equipment and it's going to offer a broader range of premium options, according to BMW. The exterior and the interior, that's all new. Leave your thoughts below regarding this, but we're also gonna have revised powertrains and all models are gonna come standard with the adaptive M suspension, which will improve the performance and sharpen the handling. Right now there's two different models. We have the 228 X-Drive Grand Coupe and the M235 X-Drive Grand Coupe. Both of these models are gonna launch in March of 2025. And the two-wheel drive 228 S-Drive Grand Coupe is gonna arrive mid-year 2025. It's funny how they call it the two-wheel drive model. They simply don't call it front-wheel drive. In fact, nowhere in this press release from BMW, do they say the term front wheel drive or FWD? I just thought that was really funny. But regardless, the 228 X Drive Grand Coupe is going to start at $41,600, but make sure to add $1,175 for destination. The M235 X Drive will start at $49,500, and once again, add back in the destination. In mid-2025, when the front-wheel drive model rolls out, it's going to start at $39,600. Once again, add back in $1,175 for destination. Now let's go ahead and let's go through some of these details here regarding this redesigned Grand Coupe. This vehicle has now increased in length by 0.7 inches for a total length of 179.2 inches. The wheelbase remains unchanged, it's 105.1 inches. Same thing with the width, that remains the same at 70.9 inches, but the height of this vehicle has increased by an inch. And it's true, this vehicle has more of a bulbous shape to it. I don't know, I feel like I've seen a design similar to this before, I just can't put my finger on it. But regardless, I don't love or hate the way this vehicle looks. Once again, I would like to hear your thoughts below. We're gonna have eight different metallic colors, two individual BMW frozen paint options, and one solid paint finish as well with this two series. As standard, these vehicles are gonna come with 18 inch wheels, and there will be a variety of 18 and 19 inch wheels and a choice of all season, summer tires, and high performance tires as an option. If you go for that 228 X Drive Grand Coupe, and you select the M Sport Professional Package. It's going to enhance the exterior look by adding the M Shadow Line lights, a rear spoiler, and extended Shadow Line or blacked out trim. Regarding the interior space of this new 2 Series Grand Coupe, it's going to be entirely leather free, and this vehicle is going to come with perforated Vigenza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just that's just too funny, but um, it's going to come in any of four colors as standard. And that Vigenza slash Alcantara trim is available with the M Sport package, and it's going to be combined with contrasting stitching for the dashboard. There's also newly designed heated sport seats as standard with the 2 Series Grand Coupe. And for the first time ever, they are offering massaging active front seats with lumbar support as an option. And we do have here a curved display with the BMW Operating System 9, and of course, no physical buttons or switches for the HVAC. Regardless though, the way BMW writes their press releases, they have their information all over the place, so I'll be coming back to the interior and the technology in a moment. Same thing with the drivetrain. They kind of sprinkle the information all about in an unorganized fashion. But going back to the 228 X Drive with the M Sport package, that's going to give you illuminated aluminum hexa cube matte trim or illuminated aluminum graphite trim along with a leather wrapped M Sport steering wheel with 
paddle shifters for the all-new 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. And yes, that is a big highlight, that new transmission. Once again, I'm going to be coming back to that in a moment. As standard equipment, these new vehicles are going to come with the BMW Live Cockpit Plus with the cloud-based navigation system. And I do appreciate the fact that they've made the 12-speaker Harman Kardon audio system as standard. That's great to see. And same thing with the comfort access, keyless entry, wireless phone charger, and auto dimming interior and exterior mirrors. All of that comes standard for these 2025 2 Series Grand Coupes. And the standard features actually continue here. For the first time ever, they are giving us the BMW Digital Key Plus, which enables this car to be unlocked and locked via the smartphone or smartwatch. So you can literally operate this vehicle without the key fob if you want. Now we come to some of the drivetrain aspects. So the 228 X-Drive Grand Coupe, it comes with the two liter turbo four cylinder engine producing 241 horsepower and 295 pounds feet of torque. So the standard vehicle comes with more power and torque. The previous car only had 228 horses and 258 pounds feet of torque. So 241 and 295, definitely more. And the eight speed automatic transmission has been replaced with that seven speed dual clutch. And a standard 228 X-Drive Grand Coupe can do zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. The M235 now makes 312 horsepower and 295 pounds feet of torque. Once again, that vehicle also utilizes the seven speed dual clutch and it can do zero to 60 in 4.7 seconds. Now the interesting thing about the M235 is the horsepower has gone up from 301 to 312, but the torque is now less. So before the M235 produced 332 pounds-feet of torque, well now the vehicle only has 295 pounds-feet of torque. Regardless though, the car is still quick, right? 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. And BMW claims that the DCT is remarkably quick and offers smooth gear changes. And these new 2 Series Grand Coupes, they benefit from extensively revised suspension technology. Again, these vehicles come standard with the adaptive M suspension. But the agility, the steering position, the cornering dynamics, they are all enhanced by the increased rigidity of the body structure compared to before and the chassis connection, as well as the solid axle support bearings in the front section. All of this has been improved and the numerous other innovations, including a 20% increase in the caster offset of the front wheels help optimize both the ride comfort and the sporty handling. And those new adaptive M shocks, they provide improved ride comfort by reducing the roll during dynamic cornering while providing this vehicle with precise and balanced handling. There's also highly preloaded anti-roll bar mounts that contribute to improved body support and increased roll management, while robust wheel bearings increase the steering position of the new 2 Series Grand Coupe. So a lot of little changes and updates like this to help this be a much better driving vehicle compared to the previous generation. And as always, I'm going to have the full BMW press release on the screen for you to check out. This is where all of the journalists get their information from. So if you read up on this, you'll know literally everything that there is regarding this new 2 Series Grand Coupe. Moving on to some of the specifics regarding the M235's engine and transmission setup. So the M235 obviously comes with the most aggressive styling and quad tip exhaust out back. And BMW claims that the M235 has the most powerful version of the new four-cylinder engine. However, as mentioned before, this vehicle produces less torque than before, which is sad. But the M235 X-Drive Grand Coupe, it features numerous innovations, including the combustion process, the design of the intake pipes, and the combustion chambers, along with the camshaft control, the injection, the ignition system, and the exhaust gas routing. This M235 has a more robust crankshaft, an optimized oil supply for the cooling channel pistons, and new main bearing shells and covers, 
as mentioned before, the car's got 312 horsepower, 295 pounds-feet of torque, does 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. And of course, all of this is achieved with that 7-speed DCT with the M Sport Boost. The M235 has the adaptive M suspension, of course, and sports steering, but it has other model-specific performance enhancements like the chassis components with the optimized rigidity and a mechanical differential lock on the front axle integrated with the 7-speed DCT. And with the interior space of the M235, we have that Vigenza slash Alcantara design with the blue contrast stitching, and we have the M Sport seats with fixed headrests and the illuminated M logo in the backrest. You can also get a heads-up display if you would like. We do get some good standard safety equipment with the new 2 Series Grand Coupe like standard active driving assist which includes features like the frontal collision mitigation, lane keeping assist, the active blind spot detection, etc. But for $500 you can get the optional driving assistance plus package which adds distance control and steering assistant which applies corrective steering to help the driver stay centered in the lane at the highway speeds. There's also additional safety tech features and other things that come standard is the parking assistant which includes active park distance control with the side protection, a rear view camera, rear panorama view, and backup assistant. There's also an optional parking assistant plus package that you can get which includes the drive recorder and the parking view and drivers can also use the 3D view. Back to the interior and the technology, we have a 10.25 inch digital gauge cluster with a 10.7 inch infotainment screen. This is all mated together in that one large curved display and this does come standard and the setup uses BMW operating system 9. And you can also use voice controls which is what many people argue, but most individuals would rather BMW just use physical buttons and switches for the HVAC. But let's be honest, they're never bringing that back. But with this infotainment, you do get over the air updates and you can have some third party apps running along with some in-car gaming. There is a air console platform that allows you to play casual games like Uno, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, etc. And BMW has also listed out the major standard equipment that comes with these vehicles. I already talked about most of it, like the adaptive M suspension, the comfort access keyless entry, the auto dimming mirrors, power front seats, sports seats, heated front seats, LED headlights, active driving assist, the parking assist, along with the Harman Kardon audio, the wireless charging, the navigation, the safety tech features, etc. And that's pretty much everything you need to know regarding the all-new 2 Series Grand Coupe. As promised at the beginning of this video, here's how you can save a substantial amount of money on new BMW products. You can reach out to Auto Companion, who is one of the largest car brokers in the United States. He has BMW dealerships both in Washington, D.C. and in the California area. And they have great discounts on a majority of BMWs. Sadly, I never see him advertising any 2 Series deals. I know that's what this video is about. But just to give you some context, a simple 330i, he's got 10% off MSRP, which is truly excellent. And honestly, with such a big discount like that, I feel like most people would rather just step up to a 3 Series over the 2 Series Grand Coupe. Let's just keep it real. And on average, he's got about 8% off the MSRP on the 4 Series vehicles, 10% off on the 5 Series. With the X1s and the X3s, he's at between 8 to 11% off MSRP, depending on the model year and the trim. And on the M3s and the M4s, he's got between 4 to 5% off MSRP. So definitely some good savings. And Auto Companion also has a free leasing calculator, which I will have linked in the description box below. This calculator will show you the interest rate of a lease, the residual values, and the incentives that you can get in your local zip code. So whether you are financing, paying cash, or leasing, you should use this calculator to see those incentives, because incentives stack on top of the dealer discount. So on a $50,000 330i 
xDrive sedan at 10% off, you're getting the vehicle for 45 grand. And when you lease the vehicle, there is an additional lease cash available to you, which is an additional $1,500. That's again, a substantial amount of money. And that's why you need to use this calculator. So you're getting about $6,500 off the MSRP. And when I ran some numbers for a three year lease, assuming you have perfect credit and you put no money down, it's gonna be about $633 a month, which is not exactly cheap, but that's mainly because the interest rate of the lease is 4.3%. You can actually lower that interest rate even further by doing a one pay lease or putting down multiple security deposits. And MSDs, they are basically a refundable deposit that you get back at the end of the lease. Or if you sell the vehicle early, you will get back your MSDs. And the reason why you put down those multiple security deposits is simply to lower the interest rate of the lease, thus lowering the payment. And this is a great way of building equity in the vehicle without financing or paying cash for the car. But Auto Companion also has Audi deals, right? Both in Washington, D.C. and in California. Actually, the A5 Sportback is one of the best value propositions right now. Auto Companion has 13% off the MSRP on those. But the discounts, the lease programs, interest rates, incentives, all of these things, they do change every month. But Auto Companion's calculator will also update every month. And if you want to work with Auto Companion, Although he has dealers in DC and in California, he is able to ship nationwide, but shipping is something you have to pay extra for, and he does charge a broker fee to access these deals. But if you sign up with my affiliate link in the description box, he will take some money off of his broker fee. So hopefully you appreciate this knowledge, this information, and these resources. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.